Be quiet. I'm vlogging. What? I'm vlogging. Uh-oh. <laughs> Take your copyright and music elsewhere. Hello! Today I'm going to try something different for our vlog. We're doing morning makeup with Violet, but you know, live. And I'll probably have to cut most of this out, otherwise it'll be really, really boring and long. You have to excuse me, somebody threw me my moisturizer and like dented my hand. It's, You're a hand. it's bleeding! Oh, I doubt that very much. It is! Let me see it! <laughs> No, it's red. Because of the blood vessels. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can qualify it as bleeding until there's blood running out of it. There's blood on it. It's under the skin. Just because you hit it hard enough, you didn't pierce the skin. <laughs> Go ahead, try to do this. Okay. Because you can't be quiet. Oh, no! What happened? Oh, my God, what happened? <laughs> I blame you. You made me! What did I do? You probably moved it by accident. Oh! Okay, take two on this. So, like I said, morning makeup, blah blah blah, live, and Jade's hurt my finger. So first thing I'm going to start off with is some moisturizer. This one is Crayoline, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, it's French, from Bioderma. And it's really, really good. I've had some really bad eczema these last few weeks with my allergic reactions, especially like around here and around the eyes. And it is super, super, super good foundation. I am using the I Love BB Light and I'm forever searching for a dupe of a face shop one so instead, because I discontinued it and it had shimmer in it, I mix this Estee Lauder um, Illuminator thingamajig and the BB cream together on my finger and it forms a really pretty shimmer. So the reason I'm getting dressed up today is because extra special attention with the eyes we're going out for Mother's Day dinner. So Mother's Day is on Sunday but I've got a work thing to do on Sunday so we won't be home and we won't be home Saturday because James has a photography gig. He's been booked out almost every weekend this month month it's been really good. Okay, next finishing powder just to set all of the BB cream and everything. This is Astralis Ready Set Go. I also like the Jolique one, but this one was closer on my desk. And I just pat it on because I find that the illuminator illuminator illuminizer, whatever you want to call it, can make the whole thing a little bit slippery. So, finishing powder gives it all a little bit more grip. This is all the stuff that I usually cut out where I'm looking around trying to find what the hell I did with my mascara. Because, you know, for something that I use every single day, I lose it enough. What did I do with it? Oh, come on. Right in front of me. So this is the one that I usually use. It is the Bourjois Ultra Curl Volume Glamour. I can't read it backwards in the mirror. But it's really good. Moving on. So the colors that I'm planning to use today are I'm basing the whole look around this, which is from my friend Kaz's new range of makeup. Pretty serious. How cute is her little logo, by the way? And if I can open it up, it 
It is the Loose Eyeshadow Powder in CGA. It's like a nice light purple but with a blue shimmer in it. Looks amazing. And I have a matching lip gloss too. So I'm really excited to try that out. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing that and the beige champagne -y kind of Hello Kitty color that I've been using heaps lately. So let's get started because I think this is going to get really long and I'm going to have to cut most of it out. And apply to the lid. My god, that is a nice purple. See, when you apply wet like this, you do get some quite sharp lines around the outside. So afterwards you would need to go back and blend them all out using some kind of fluffy brush. That's the only problem with applying wet, is you need to wait for it to dry before you go into the next step. So. You know, you could start your hair at this point. I'm a bit lazy. And just applying to the inner corner like that. This look is going to be pretty psychedelic. It's like Cyber Bobby deal. James hates it when I touch my waterline. Especially if I like watching videos together. He has to look away because it creeps him out. So that's pretty much dry to the touch now. So I'm going to use my fluffy brush and blend the inner corner into the purple a little bit more. Then I'm going to blend the harsh line out of the outside a little more. All around it so that's much more wearable immediately. Not so much crazy Cyber Barbie, though that would make an awesome look. Selena from Fables in Fashion, if you are watching this, you need to do Cyber Barbie. I will even volunteer to be your model, huh? How generous am I? Allowing you to do my makeup like that. For the outer corner, just to give it some shadow, I'm going to use this Exhibit Powder. Which is probably, it's only a couple of shades darker than the Pretty Serious powder and really I only want a little of it just to give the outside some definition. So what I'm using here is some Clinique uh, clarifying lotion which is effectively it's kind of like a toner. I'm just putting some on a cloth that I have and I'm using it to press my eyeliner brush into the perfect point and clean off any old gunk that's on there from last time. The eyeliner I'm using is Bobbi Brown's Longwear Gel Eyeliner, favorite of all time. This is on my must-have list. Like, it's pretty pricey. Like It's definitely more in the luxury brand kind of area. But honestly, these little pots, you need not much at all. So you could get away with having this one for a couple of years probably, as long as it doesn't expire. It's pretty hard to draw on here at the moment because my eyes are still quite puffy from the allergy that I had last week. Very inconvenient. You know, that's not that great, but I have a feeling it's going to be the best that's going to happen right now. Oh well. Do you guys have like a strategy or something when you go to buffets? James has some very well thought out, <laughs> very um, specific strategies that he likes to employ so he gets the best for his dollar. I'm trying new glue today because I have run out of my old glue and I'm pretty sure they discontinued it now which is you know really helpful hence the having the allergic reaction. So I'm trying Ardell Waterproof Lash Grip Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive and to top it off I'm pretty sure I hear my phone going in the other room I 